did you guys have an office in San Francisco? Were you guys always remote? Are you remote now? Yeah, so we had an office in San Francisco and you know, the team has grown from six to 13 people in, it grew from six to 13 people in 2020. And so we, we did make hires during COVID where I've never met the people in person. And so, yeah, we really had to think about culture and, and like, how do we set up organic touch points? So like we have, it's kind of dorky, but it works. We have team meetings. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, that are purely just touch points for us to all come together. And Mondays we do gratitudes where people just go around and say something they're grateful for. And we do fabulous failures, which is an optional thing, but you can be like, here's something that went horribly wrong. And on Wednesdays, our VP of ops who's awesome, leaves us in a meditation. And then on Fridays, we call them fun Fridays, but it's like, choose your own adventure. We've done everything from like learn different TikTok dances to <laughs> we played categories. It's like really, but it, it, it gets a laugh, you know, and it's a place where, um, you know, people can just, can just hang out. And, and I think that's been important. Yeah, no, those things are super important. I love the creativity of all those things. That's so yeah. great. Have you thought about, and I, I'm just saying, I have a lot of friends at San Francisco who have all like, they've all moved and two camps, right? There's one camp that says I'm moving and I'll come back once my office is open again. And then there's another camp just saying I'm moving. And like some CEOs I know have moved their entire companies to, to New York or to just the other to Florida, as an example, have you thought about any of that? I know it's a hard decision, but have like, wh where's your mind at as, as the San Francisco exodus kind of reaps into the headlines? Yeah. I mean, I, I think, we think of San Francisco as our home. I think this city is beautiful and has so much to offer. So, you know, for the time being, this will this will continue to be our home. The one thing and the very cool thing that I think COVID has allowed is we've just been more open to remote hiring, right? And so that used to just be from like a sales side, right? You'd be like, okay, we need sales reps in New York City for very obvious reasons, but now it's really opened up, I think, our ability to hire marketing and ops people around the country. And one, I think it makes us way more in touch with like the, our community as a whole. And we meet really cool people that way. So, you know, we just hired an awesome community manager who manages all of our social and she lives in Atlanta and probably will never move to the Bay Area. And that's been a great push for us. That's awesome. Yeah, we're kind of in the same boat. It's it's a COVID, it's this opportunity too, where there's so much tremendous, amazing talent on the market. And so if you can hire, if you're in a position to hire, you can get some like really amazing people all across the country. And obviously we're all learning how to work remote or some, you know, some of us probably have been doing it for a long time, but it's a good opportunity to, to capture some amazing talent that's out there. Yeah. And it's like, it's another touch point where you just, it pushes you to question things you thought had to be true, right? Right. Like we, you know, it's like another example. We thought we wouldn't hire people remote or we thought we wouldn't do e-commerce e in this capacity until like 2022. And like you just challenge your assumptions and you're better for it. My company, we, we went through the company I was with. We went through Y Combinator and there's this big emphasis of like creating culture. Right. And so they don't want you hanging out at the offices. They want you and your team of like usually at that point, it's like two to four people, sometimes yeah. more. But you, it's a small team. And so like we're all living together and, they're, and they place a big emphasis on culture and like building the culture and getting to like, which naturally as you, as you grow, you're thinking like, okay, I'm going to get to 20 employees. Everyone to your point can't be remote because how do I build culture if we're remote? And I never really agreed with it. I was like, this kind of becomes limiting at some point, especially because it's not like an office is free, right? It's like these things are very expensive. Right. Having people come in can be kind of tough. And so it just get it becomes hard. And so I'm like, I'm kind of happy all of this happened because in some way it's like, we can all work remote and it's just, we just need to do things a little bit differently to get there. 